Hello and welcome to this series of short videos introducing you to BlackBerry updates and software releases. My name is Hugh Jones, Principal Channel Sales Engineer with BlackBerry, covering the UK, Ireland, Middle East, Turkey and Africa. This video is a little different. Rather than a software update or new release, we're going to look at a KB article that deals with the Office and Windows HTML remote code execution vulnerability that's been in the news recently. And it also introduces you to a silence optics rule which you can download and deploy in your own UES console. We at BlackBerry have provided threat analysis and documented details about this vulnerability which was related to the NATO summit in July of 2023. Details on our blog. I'll provide the link below. Here's another page from Bleeping Computer that also gives further details about this vulnerability and some advice. To start, I'm going to pull up the article, log into my account, head to the support community tab along the top and pull up your knowledge base. Then search for article 111707 and you can see that the article is now shown in the search results below. Note that it's tagged with Silence Protect and Silence Optics. Click on the article and open it up. This KB article follows the format of most of our KB articles. You can see the date it was published, it's a security notice, there's the title, article number, an overview, some description and details about what the KB article relates to, changelog, and finally at the bottom you'll see attachment 1, uh, in this case it's a zip file. The zip files contains the silence optics rule discussed in the article. And of course, this is for you to download and deploy into your own environment too. I've downloaded the zip file myself and I've extracted the contents. In this case, it's just a single JSON file. If you're interested in learning more about how the rule is put together and how it works, then open up the JSON file in a text editor and you can go through the content. In order to use the rule, log in to your Silence UES console. Go down to Silence Optics and click on Configurations at the bottom. Next along the top, click on the Rules tab and you're given the option to import a rule. So you're going to be importing a JSON rule. Now find that JSON file that you downloaded and drag and drop it onto the screen. And click on import to complete it. Notice the contents of the rule are shown in the screen. The rule name, description, severity, operating system is all filled in for you. Click on validate. And finally, publish in order to publish the rule. success and the screen will be updated and now at the top you can see suspicious process execution from Microsoft Office products version 2 modified by myself now we need to create a rule set normally you'd add this new rule to an existing rule set but for the purposes of this video to demonstrate I'm going to create a new rule set so I'm going to fill in a description and I'm going to copy the details of the rule and make that the rule set name. There's a notification message there that will be displayed on the user's desktop. I'm going to fill that in. And I'm going to apply it to a device policy. In this case, it's Windows 11 victim. Now, of course, I need to enable the rule, so I'm going to turn it on and some sort of response. So in this case, I'm going to terminate process trees. So 
scroll all the way down to the bottom in order to be able to confirm the new rule set. And there you can see one of 483 rules enabled, some details about it. And finally I can click on save to save the rule. Success. And you can see the detection rule has been saved. So just to sanity check that the rule set has been applied to the correct device policy, scroll down and click on device policy. And that will list your device policies on this portal. Windows 11 victim is the one that we applied it to. So click on that one and then go to the science optics settings. And there you can see the selected set of detection rules. And the, the one we created is shown. There you go. We've reviewed the KB article. We've downloaded the Silence Optics rule and we've installed it in our portal and deployed it via a device policy to the devices. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thank you very much.